Hey, what's up, everybody? Are we excited today? I hope so. I hope so, because I am... Can you all see? Can you all hear? We're ready to get started today. All right. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, as long as you can see, as long as you can hear... Uh, real quick, because I know this will be a thing both today and tomorrow during our live badonkagonk, um, I know there was a trailer for The Bad Batch, season three. Um, we are planning not to watch it. Uh, I'm really good at avoiding spoilers. The only thing I know is that people that I trust said, eh, I would go in without it. I think it might make for better reactions if you hadn't seen the trailer. So, I know nothing about that trailer. Um... And I'm not going to watch it. And uh, why? A couple reasons. First of all, I saw a trailer for Bad Batch Season 3 at Star Wars Celebration. I've been sitting on that for what feels like forever. Um, and that was a really special thing that we got to uh, to experience a long time ago. Like, like two or three times they played that trailer. And that was a lot of fun. So I have been able to enjoy that for a long time. And unfortunately, they never released that for you guys. So... There's a trailer out there that you haven't seen, so now we're even. <laughs> uh, two, I personally, and I know some of the other Blind Wave guys feel this way as well, uh, personally, uh, movies, television shows are better when a storyteller can tell you the story, not a marketing department. Um, I don't need a trailer to tell me that I'm going to be there for The Bad Batch, and I actually, whenever things are this close, the Bad Batch is starting soon, um, when I know for certain I'm going to be there, I actually don't like to consume that marketing material as much. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of odds with the idea that we're a reaction channel, mainly, and people want to see our reaction. The only thing I can say is, whatever's in that trailer, we'll find out. We won't be spoiled because we do this for a living. Uh, for me right now, the only dangerous spot I have in my spoiler wall 
is this chat. Is today and tomorrow's chat, uh, especially because, you know, these things tend to die down the more time uh, goes. Um, so anyway, I am calling upon you, both in Twitch and on YouTube, if a spoiler pops up, I need you to hold the line. And for anybody that was here during my Mass Effect streams, whenever a, a spoiler popped up, the rest of chat would hold the line and flood out the spoiler. So uh, I obviously need to look at chat every once in a while just to make sure stream isn't broken or there's not some type of weird audio thing or whatever. So I'm counting on you, my fellow Star Wars fans, to help protect the sanctity of my pure reaction to whatever people were excited by in that trailer. I have no idea. I hope it was awesome. I, I'm i going to almost guarantee it's more awesome if you watch it in the show. Honestly, no one asked me, but I, I kind of feel like the modern way movies are marketed uh, does a disservice to storytelling a little bit. They can be really fun, but they can also sometimes, in order to solidify your ticket or your ass in that seat, give a little bit too much. And uh, can, you know, regardless if you're holding that material as your intellectual property or not, can sometimes spoil what is relatively a cool story. And I'm imagining that the Bad Batch, just like all fun stories, are incepted and made to be viewed that way. And then you cut it up to make it a trailer. Now, I'm not poo-pooing on any trailer ever. Um, I certainly will, will watch, like, the first couple, just, you know, just to get a little hint, get a little a little bite. But uh, I think it's one of the things that people enjoy in our television show reactions, especially something like Star Wars, is, uh, you know, I get it all the time, like, how do you still enjoy this? It's like, well, I, I think I view it correctly. <laughs> and I know that sounds really presumptuous and conceited, but... I don't go chasing every single story thread that's leaked to, you know, that's leaked out there. Like, I don't follow leakers. I don't follow rumors. I, I if it's, if I could, if I could just get rid of them, I probably would, but I can't. So that also limits how I spend my time online, which is a good thing to limit your, your, your the time you spend online. You know, sometimes that's good. Um, anyway, all that to say, I'll probably not be interacting with chat as much as I had been, which wasn't really all that much anyway, so... That is what it is. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people uh, coming in throughout the next couple hours uh, just to ask about the trailer or, you know, they might be interested in certain things, but uh, in my reaction to them. But I've never once ever looked at a message someone sent me and been like, oh, I'm glad I learned that here. I always want to learn as is intended. And I think it's as is intended in the actual thing itself so that's it uh that's my rambling um let's see here so yeah uh i just want to quickly i do have a super chat i'm going to use my mind powers to kind of skim it first and i think we're good this is from darren uh who says uh oh this is for rick hi rick thanks for the good times i know you're a busy man but do you think you'll keep up the streams for other games may the force be with you i'm assuming that you met eric and you just said rick uh I mean, this would apply to Rick as well. Um, but do I think I'll keep up the streams for other games? I mean, I will, after I'm done with this one, I'm uh, an old man at this point where I have a hard time, like, switching between games sometimes. Like, when I'm playing a game, I'm playing that game. And I enjoy it and take it in, and I only have that control scheme, like, on my brain because I'm not a good gamer <laughs> And that's how I have to uh, do it in order to at least satisfy whatever standard the viewer has to be being good at a video game. <laughs> so anyway. Um, and Caleb Diaz says, hold the line. So anyway. Um, anyway, like I said, I trust my editors and uh, certain people that have like-minded... Uh, views about how certain you know things can be consumed and i trust all of them and when they say probably something that you don't want to watch so uh i thank them and i thank you for your patience but your patience has been rewarded i know monday was it sucked i was 
I was not feeling good. The only thing, ironically, that probably would have made me feel better was playing Jedi Survivor, but I just wasn't good to be on camera. Um, so I did have to cancel. Uh, we're going to play tonight. Maybe we go a little long. We'll see. It's going to depend on, on how things go, but we'll see. Uh, Hallow Arver Rice <laughs> Super Chat. Hey, Rick, looking good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So anyway, feeling a lot better, ready to sink my teeth in to more Jedi Survivor. Um, yeah, last time we were on the planet Jedi, we met with Master Cordova. What? <laughs> we met with Seer, we saw the Jedi Archive, and yeah, we were in right here. Uh, so I'm going to head back towards the ship because we're wanting to go to the moon of Kobo. And that's not all that happened last stream. Uh, where's the lock? There it is. But I also got a new stance, which is this blaster. Uh, right now, I'm currently rocking the single blade to uh, the blaster stance. And I know that's really, what's the right word? That might not make sense like loadout wise or gameplay wise, but what I really love that the, having these two accomplish is it's so easy to just pull out your gun and then put your gun away and then pull out your gun and then, and then put it away. It looks so cool and it looks so flawless that I might just do it for a little bit. Uh, it might be something that we change up, we'll see. Uh, no sound. Okay, let me see if I can fix that. See, this is why I gotta have chat up. Hmm, why is there no sound to that? Maybe if I go here, here. I'm gonna do this. Alright, now that's back. Is there any sound at all now? <laughs> no sound, no sound. Okay, why isn't this play? I can see where it should come from, but it's not coming from there. <laughs> I got it, though. No game sound. You guys got me. Uh, Carl Kraus with the Super Chat. Does this mean that you won't be seeing the Acolyte trailer when it drops later in the year? Or... Any of the other title that got teased at Celebration? Uh, Carl, only if the people that I trust say that, hey, you probably shouldn't watch that trailer. It seems to give away too much. I should also say that I saw the Acolyte trailer that they had at Celebration, and it was, I mean, I said it then, it was easily the thing that I was excited for the most, um, just in terms of what they showed. Uh yeah, it, it looked really cool. So even if it does come out and someone does say, hey, you probably shouldn't watch this trailer, I'll be fine because I already got my tease. Yeah, I did already do some OBS trickery, or at least the OBS trickery that I know. Um, let me see if I can fix it. We'll do this, which deactivates. <laughs> and then activate it again. That still didn't do it. Okay, I am going to quickly uh, get a hold of my support and see if I can get that fixed. I will be right back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Uh, there. Okay. Can you hear me now? Hi, everybody. Still working. Still trying to figure it out. But I got Jake on uh, from remoting in to see if he can figure out uh, what's going on with it. I do my best when it comes to the streaming side. I'm actually pretty good behind the camera. But when it comes to the actual uh, stream stuff, I teach myself how to work the basics of what we built here. But when things break, it can be easier to have someone else do it. <laughs> so Jake's working on that to see if we can get uh, if we can get it here. But yeah, that's my lamp. Can turn it on and off. Aren't you so excited by that? <laughs> uh, you accuse Aaron of shenanigans? Could be. You never know. Could be that. Uh, that's the lamp that I use to create this this cool effect of like, oh, is he holding? Is he holding this lightsaber color? He could be, but not. Anyway, I gotta wait a little bit. See if we can get that going. What's frustrating is I can hear, I can hear the game fine, but you guys can't hear it for some reason. So we'll see if we can fix that. Um, yes. I feel like the only thing I can do is just uh, double check the roadcaster and see if any of the channels are muted. I will do that. You guys hear the game now? No. Well, I think it was that. So I don't think there's anything over there muted. Oh yeah, this is my new, my new pillow. I have it right on the support of my back here, because I, you know, when I'm on stream, I like, I got, I got a fucking, I got a little table here, you know? I personally like to be up and forward and paying attention and being engaged. I don't know if you saw my table or not. This is the table. So, that's why I do that. Just make all the noises yourself. I could probably do something like that. <laughs> Uh, Jake said first channel should be muted. Yeah, I re-muted the first channel. I put it back to where it was. It was not that. Um, what else could it be? Mm -hmm. Was I sitting in the void? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes if you uh, disable around here, bring it back, that can magically fix things, but I don't think it did. I'm not sure why we're not getting the sound there. Uh, could it be wires from the camera? I don't think so. I think it's all the same wire. That wouldn't make any sense anyway. It's from the TV.
All right, I'm back. Couldn't figure it out. Uh, toast, Eric, have you filmed a mailbag? Yeah, we filmed mailbag this week. First mailbag we've done since Christmas. And that was a lot of fun. We did that yesterday. Had a really good time. Um, hope you guys are all excited. Uh, I, mean, I hope you are excited for tomorrow's Badonka Gonk podcasts, uh, which will be here on Twitch or on YouTube, wherever your viewing preferences align. We're going to be doing some fun things there, including uh, doing a review for A Test of Courage, which is a quite a short book in the High Republic, but a very fun one. So we're going to be talking about that. Uh, we're going to be watching the Clone Wars Revenge of the Sith Duel by the uh, Hello There people. Still haven't seen that. We're going to be watching that live, so you can check out that reaction. Uh, that's going to be fun. All right, so it looks like Jake, very, very nice Jake, is going to run into the studio and try to fix this live. Because, look, I had to stop. I did not play on Monday. I am playing tonight. It's just going to be hanging out in this... Uh, <laughs> in this port here with the ship for a little bit while uh, Jake comes over and sees if he can actually fix things. So we are all going to thank Jake. And it's especially rainy and foggy out tonight, so Jake is also going to need to drive safely. Uh, toast, yes, the new accessory for my, uh, my, my Switch. I took it home, put it on there. Looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, going to the moon or Kobo? Uh, I think the moon is where we're going to be going next. Just because I'm hungry for a new environment. And I can't explore Jetta anymore. So we are going to be going to the moon. Do we have any data banks to read? We could see. We could see. Um, if I go down here. Hold on a second. Data bank here. If I click in... I can go to databank main. There's usually like a, a recent, but I guess there is no recent because I haven't opened any. <laughs> we got 100% on Coruscant though. That's cool. Jetta only 16%, 24% on Kobo. We got 53% of the lore down. That's interesting. 46% of the characters and 39 of the quest. Do I ever change my lightsaber like you said you might? Um, I believe I did. I, I think... Uh, actually, no. This is still the Hunter lightsaber. We can do that while we wait. We can work on our lightsaber. Why not? As long as I don't have any important dialogue that you would miss because you can't hear it. Let's go right here. That was a little risky. I could have... Ooh, blasters are now available to customize. See? <laughs> See that? That's amazing. Uh, okay, so let's work on the lightsaber. This is the hunter one. I am 100% going with my master's emitter, just because I feel like that's the most iconic part of uh, Master T'Pol's lightsaber. Uh, so this is the one that, you know, has come standard. Um, let's see, this one's kind of like a Luke Return of the Jedi. Or, I'm sorry, Obi-Wan activation switch. It's kind of cool. This one's also kind of cool looking, too. <laughs> Look at Cal's hands going nuts. <laughs> okay, uh, kind of like that one. What about in terms of the grip? So this is to pause. Mm, that's okay. That looks annoying to hold. That also looks kind of annoying to hold. This one's not too bad. But honestly, I don't know. I think in terms of like what lightsaber would I hold, I might go with this. It has the best grip. Okay, so the pummel. Um, to pause isn't anything special. The tooth is cool, but not something I would use. The 
Nothing special there. This is more of an Obi-Wan episode one and two. Uh, lightsaber pummel. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Might go with that one. Okay, so if we do that, then we need to... Match this. Um, here we have the Hermit. So I'll also do that and then to Paul's emitter. Yeah. Okay, so those are uh, that's good for the components. Hmm. I'm kind of having buyer's remorse on the middle one now. But I'm also not using the double blade saber right now. Okay, let's uh, look at materials, and we're gonna change some of these colors around. Kind of like the pitted chromium, that's kind of cool looking. We'll just keep this dark iron look for that. And then the condition's a little rough. I might put the condition up a little bit. Let's go with worn. And then Go mid for these polishes. Oh, am I actually? I gotta remember to confirm this. Mm hmm. Kind of cool looking. Okay. I'm actually kind of liking this right now. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, here, let me do this. My bad. Now you guys can see. Uh, this is kind of what I have right now. Um, it's pretty close to... Uh, to Jaros, but I'm liking it. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look at the blaster, which I doubt we have. Oh no, we do have a decent amount of stuff here. Okay, cool. Um, I like this one right now. Kitted out trophy earned. Cool. This is really Han Solo like the DL. I mean, of course it is. It's a DL44. Um, how about with this wrap? That's kind of I don't know, gives it a little bit of like a like a Jedi look to it. Uh, and let's look at our materials for the primary. We're gonna go with the dark iron look. 50%. Secondary. Golden gun looks kind of cool. We'll stick with this. Polish at fifty. Accent coloring. Stainless Durasteel look is kind of cool. Fabric color. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, 
These are a little too bright for my taste. Ooh, leather. No, let's stick with, oops. let's stick with this. One of these, let's go with, let's stick with the tan cloth. And then condition, uh, I feel like a blaster is pretty important to keep nice and clean. And I just got it, so let's make it uh, well kept. Well kept is good. All right. Okay. Awesome. Well, we got that. So I'm going to head just back outside so I don't accidentally trigger anything in here. Um, if you're just joining in, I realize that there's no game sound right now. Uh, I have a technician coming in to try to fix it because I could not. So we're just going to hang out over here and continue to talk. Uh, have I tried God of War Ragnarok Valhalla yet? No. Uh, I will play that whenever I'm done with this. Which I know isn't, uh, doesn't feel like it's anything immediate right now, but I will do it. And yeah, I haven't played Assassin's Creed Mirage either. I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, so uh, I'll probably end up playing that at some point. I don't know. That could be one that I do off stream. I'm not really needing to feel like I need to do it on stream like I do this and Valhalla, but maybe. We'll see. It's a smaller game, too. Um, How do I feel? Uh, should be in five minutes. Yeah, Jake will be here in about five minutes. Uh, yeah, Toast, I did get uh, I did get the grip. Did I get a case? I don't think I've gotten a case. Though the grip does have um, two spots for games in the actual grip itself, which is kind of cool. Anyway, no, it's okay, Nexus. I'll be good. Uh, Jake will be here soon. We'll get that started. <sighs> I'm going to stick with um, the beard. Could change our outfit up a little bit, I suppose. It is a new day, so let's work on... Actually, you know what? I can do that from anywhere. I don't have to go to a circle to customize Cal's look, which makes sense. So what are we thinking today? Uh, I mean, having the holster like this on the pants is definitely a big deal for having the blaster stance. I think most of them have it. Yeah, they do. Um, so, let's see. I was working with these for now. Do we want to change up the jacket? We could. This brown jacket's kind of cool. Hmm. That's a pretty snazzy look there. I feel like that really benefits having the blaster stance. It's very Kyle Katarn right now. I think I like it. I think we're, this is our outfit for the moon, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have um, many options when it comes to hairstyle right now. Like, I really just have this crew cut uh, and the normal survivor look, which, not too bad. In terms of beard, it's just how much do I want, and I think the answer is clear. I don't know, maybe changing the shirt or under this might be good.
Got the tan shirt there. And then in terms of pants, how do I... Oh yeah, I can zoom all the way out. I prefer that. Uh, let's see, what kind of pants would be best? I mean, this, the Corellian Rebel Hero pants are really snazzy, are, as is the Han Solo ones. The brown boots go pretty good with that. Is that too much? A brown coat and blue pants? I mean, they look good with the lightsaber. They look really good with this. I might, this might be my look. This is my fit for this stream. Yep, that's what's going to happen. Uh, is it possible for me to stream the Kyle Katarn games? I mean, yeah, but... I don't know how interesting it'll be. I've played those games over and over and over and over again, primarily on the PC. Um, I tried Jedi Outcast on the Switch, and I just wasn't feeling it, but as soon as I tried it on PC again, I, I loved it immediately, so definitely love that. Um, Thunderstorm says, Eric, you can toggle scopes on and off where you choose your blaster barrel. Oh, that's cool. I currently have no scope on it right now, which I, I kind of like this look right now. I might change it in a bit. God, Cal's so cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of have a, a fin in the, the Rise of Skywalker look to it. I, I definitely have felt that way about the jacket, but the pants, 100% as well, look good. Anyway, all right, we got technical support here. Jake, thank you so much. But we should be getting that working soon. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what happened, Jake. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Jake has arrived. I'm going to use this time to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. that and you should okay. be good okay i misunderstood sure what you yep so can you, you bring the mouse back over for me yes i thought you meant you know, now yeah. we're good all right awesome thank you jake bye everyone all right and now are you ready to play jedi survivor <laughs> let's do it um 
I'm sure I have more dialogue options over here. Let's waste more time. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jedi and Night Sister, together again. All right, Bode, this what do you got? This is a smart operation Seer's put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. They do. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where the meets the eye. You two have that in common. Oh. Uh, let's see. Val, with the super chat, says, Did you finish Tsushima? That game is so good. Uh, I have not. Ever since I started playing Jedi Survivor, I haven't gone back to go to Tsushima. Um, for reasons I mentioned earlier, it's hard for me to play more than one game at a time. Um, love that game. I also am having a good time with this, but I really love the uh, gameplay in, in Ghost of Tsushima so much. Don't worry about things here, Cal. Okay. That is the last thing we need to hear to go to the hollow table and get moving. Ready to move? All right, Shattered Moon. Ooh, okay, specifically, the Shattered Moon of Kobo. Main objective, research Tanalore on the Shattered Moon. Let's travel here. Shattered moon. <laughs> no sweat. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. Is that right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. You know what I mean. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? Mm -hmm. That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. <laughs> First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. I had no idea. It is a moon. This is your captain speaking, inviting you to grab some seat so we can land. Wow, so cool. Sorry. You good? You're good. Yeah, just a smidge rust. You're good, buddy. Don't worry. You? A little restless, but. We'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure it's how you're cooking? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We're almost there. Hopefully we'll the moon's haunted. A little rusty, huh? All right, here we go. much atmosphere here at all, is there? All right, let's go talk with the guys before we leave. You okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just delighted you brought the manis to another haunted moon. It won't be long. Just gotta look for that laboratory Cordova found in the archive database. Sure. Take your time. <laughs> Hurry to that lab, kid. I don't know what happened here, and I don't want to know. Uh, let's see. Awesome Osman, super chat. Can't wait for the Bad Batch next month. Also, look forward to the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender show. May the Force be with you. Smiley face, thumbs up. 
I'm looking forward to both of those things. Alright, is Bode out? I'm gonna assume Bode's probably waiting outside. Yeah, he is. Whoa. Ah, oh, so cool. Ah, oh, Earth sky is so boring. <laughs> So this is um, High Republic uh, architecture here, then, isn't it? Okay. Cool. All right, let's talk about Bud. They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. I'm on watch here. So far, I've spotted one nervous Latero. What about over there? There's a there's somebody over here. Is that a droid? Who is this? The station is closed. Yep, yeah, it's a maintenance droid. Wow, look how big this place is. Gorgeous. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. Okay. This station is closed. It is dangerous to remain here. That looks so cool over there. Okay, so they're here. Um, maybe the raiders are here? Because it did seem like... Uh... I can't think of his name right now. Why can't I think of his name? The Gendai. His name is Ravis. Yeah, Ravis uh, is the leader of those guys, and he has some history with um, with Dagon before Dagon was put in. So, all right, there's an elevator here. Cargo loading deck. That's one way to get down. Okay. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on its moon. It says Cree written all over it. Automated Forge. They really think there's something past the Abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the Council. The Unconvinced. Two High Republic scientists are discussing the stellar anomaly and their work on the facility. Despite a disagreement on the exact goal of their work, both are aligned in continuing the research. Definitely Matt Mercer. Uh, Johanna C. with a super chat. Hey, Eric. I had gallbladder surgery and so thankful for these streams while I've been in recovery. Made a scary week tolerable. Well, Johanna, I'm so glad to hear that the you're getting the medical attention that you need. Um, and I hope that uh, you recover well. I'm glad that we can help. But uh, positive vibes are always good for the soul and healing. Okay. Okay, so not that way. Not that way, okay. It, it, was me stepping here cause that? Cause I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get hurt. Okay, um, well, looks like we can jump over here. We can get on this thin thing. And jump over here. Or we're going up? No, we're probably going down. And then around this side. to see this place operational after all this time. Let's stay alert. We need to find that lab. 
but I want to avoid this exhaust or whatever the hell this is. And then we'll go up. We'll attach ourselves to the ceiling here. This seems like a good spot. Okay. Uh, we'll activate this as a shortcut. Nice. And then let's hit the meditation circle. There is only the force. Um, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, H X O D Z X, but we had a super chat. Yo, Eric, hope you're well. Just wondering if you guys will ever react to season three of The Witcher, or if the Blind Wave crew already spoke on it. Enjoy the stream. Um, honestly, when we heard what happened with Henry Cavill, it just kind of killed all my interests. Um, if people are like, no, dude, yeah, I get it, but it's fucking real good. We want you to watch it, maybe. But right now, the interest has kind of died out. Alright, the Shattered Moon. Um, so, I don't know if we can go this way. Does this door open? Doesn't seem like it. So, let's head this way. I'm not sure what kind of room this is. Oh, got a mate destroyed. Are you Sectors doing... 5 through 9 and operable. Sectors 1 through 4, operational. Facility status, activated. Array status, deactivated. Okay. Some type of quarters here. What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. In the name of science, two Republic scientists conduct tests with unacceptable results. The only path forward, one suggests, is to further reinforce their apparatus. We can go that way. Over here, there's a platform an electrified platform that can take me that way. So let's have a look, see what this is in this direction. Yeah. Ah! That's the money. Ah! <laughs> impaling. I'm branding you. That was lazy. Just motivates me. Nah. Now be All right, that would surprise me. Uh, the answer, though, is that the Bedlam Raiders Thanks, BD. are here. <laughs> All right, Raider Veteran, who's very similar to the guy that I beat outside the cantina. Uh, these warriors knew a life of crime and battle long before they were Bedlam Raiders. Just experience and skill is rewarded with responsibility and equipment. Armed with a pronged electro staff and a jetpack, Raider veterans can bring pain and misery to their opponents from both land and air. L2 prompt there. for this. Then Ravis will reward me. He will tell me the plan, the real plan. Through combat, I will prove myself. Then I will be truly free. These guys were so excited to ambush me that they're glitching. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Jordan Super Chat. Let me see. Skimming. For another Star Wars movie, what time period would you like to see? High Republic? Uh, Empire Reign? Or maybe a Legends movie with Starkiller? Um, High Republic is fun, but I'd probably go more Old Republic just to get more uh, Sith and Jedi lightsaber fighter, fighting style stuff going on. That'd be fun. You're searching for something. Floating hand. Hello. Ah! How many more are waiting for us? Bad feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Um, security droids? Yeah, those are B1s. Why are there B1s here? Did, I, I guess the Raiders kept them here. There you are. Oh. Look at you go. I'll get you. All right, there's a lot. Let's funnel them down. Get in there. I'm kind of missing my double blade lightsaber right now. recharging station. An entire room was dedicated to the recharging of the facility's myriad maintenance droids. Since the Raider occupation, however, the battery station has been repurposed for battle droid use. Ah, excuse me. I'm going to try to utilize my blaster stance a little bit more. Okay. Won't be locked for long. Thanks, BD. Okay. Another droid over here. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. Yeah. They seem I don't terrified. have access to the laboratory. Please, leave me be. Okay. Good luck. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. Okay. More weapon materials. Okay, 
All right, we're back here. Magna Guards? MG 100s? So cool! Magna Guard IG100 Magna Guards, created by Halowan Mechanicals, were some of the most proficient battle droids in the Separatist army. Primarily used to defend high-ranking Separatist leaders, their electrostats were capable of holding their own against Jedi lightsabers. Their surprising agility combined with their ability to persist even with lost limbs gave even the fiercest Jedi warriors a challenge. Awesome. That was a fun duel. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Okay, new emitter, harmony. Down, cow! Okay. Uh, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Ah! Ah! But I held on! Y'all saw me hold on. I know you did. Oh my god, the height I got there. Damn.
right, I don't think that's a shortcut. But this is. Survived, and I have no heals left. Good find, Beatty. Monitoring station. A station teeming with droid activity must be run efficiently or risk chaos. Monitoring stations can be found at intervals around the facility, used to locate any droid units and redirect them accordingly. Oh. Let's get this data disk back to Z. Ooh. What's this? This is strange. Ah! Ah! Fractured endurance. Defeat the horde of battle droids. Okay. Double bladed. Completed Fractured Endurance. <laughs> that was nuts. I don't know, BD. It was an echo in the force, but wounded. Fragmented. It was missing something. Got a skill point. Whatever I did, it seems to have helped. Should I not do this? This is probably just taking me right back to it, right? I don't know. It was gold, so I thought it was different. Can I stop? I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. Okay, here we go. So you can replay them. Okay, cool. That did the trick. And hey, I got all my stems. Yay! I did not time this right. 
Again! Definitely a way down there. But I don't think I can get to it. Ah. Well, I thought maybe a double jump would work, but I don't think so. Maybe I got a double jump to get to it? Baby! Nice. Skill point acquired. I think I have a lot of skill points. done this too maybe I don't know oh, that's cool good Slicing over there, okay. Unstoppable as ever, BD. Very good, buddy. Ooh. Okay, we're back at the beginning. Hell yeah. Let's use these points that we have saved up. <laughs> All right, we're going to rest, and we're going to go to skills, because we have four. Let's look at the blaster stuff. Flying lunge, hold square to close the distance with your enemy with a leaping thrust. That's cool. Let's get that. Nice, okay. Efficient heat transfer. Reduces time required to fully charge a blaster shot. And blaster cooldown. Okay. Cow's maximum force is increased. Let's do this. I think it's a good idea. Maximum force. I've run out of the force a couple times now. Um, greater hold is L3 and R3 increased the duration of slow, which I don't use enough. Cal's maximum force is further increased and channeled energy. Cal regains more force when he defeats an enemy and regains some force when he blocks, uh, when he hits a blocking enemy. Okay, that's cool. Twin pull while holding an enemy with pull. Press triangle to pull and hold a second target. Yeah, I need to do that more. Uh, R2 and triangle to do multiple stagger. 
and then Howling Push looks cool. Let's use our, both skill points we have left to get that. Okay, cool. Don't need to go to the uh, workbench. I'm assuming this is going to be a uh, fast travel point. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ah, 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 yes. Ah, oh, the force is with me. Ah, oh, trust only in the force. guys kind of feel like we could have landed down there I wanted to let's do it let's go explore damn I missed it I fucked it I don't even know if I can get there now I can, but it's hard to see coming around that corner. No, too low, too low. I need help. This is annoying. <laughs> Damn. I need to try to be here. Maybe try to do it a little earlier. That was the one! <laughs> that was not the one. <laughs> move on. I don't want to waste too much time. I can always come back and try to do it later. It's not too far away from the starting zone. Jedi don't sound that great. One person against all these blasters? If you can hit them, you aim like your optics are malfunctioning. I can still shoot the Jedi. Another base for the Bedlam Raiders. We're unstoppable. Those other droids here are such chumps. They do whatever we say. Suckers. You'll never catch me taking orders like that. No way. Not me. <laughs> uh, I mean, unless it was Ravis, in which case, well, obviously. I'd sooner be broken down for scrap than get pushed around by anyone else. Leave the orders to me. Happy to help. Haunted old ruin. 
But if the boss says there's something here, who am I to question it? Ghost in the Machine. Ravis demanded the abandoned halls of the Moon Station be thoroughly exhumed, even if the Raiders themselves did not fully understand why. I need to down the rest of this energy drink real quick. B2 over there. Spotted, spotted. Huh? Oh, look. The Jedi. You shouldn't be here. No, no. Too close. Fun as it is to have something to fight, Ravis won't be too happy if you get any closer. So run along, Jedi. Uh, I can't mind trick him. All right. Maybe he's too strong minded. Music track. We'll have to do that back at the uh, at the cantina. Real 3R1K with a super chat. Love you, Eric. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. I'll be Stay back. Here. You have guts. I'll give you that. But I've got my orders. So get out of here. Oh, we got one. I am programmed to kill you. <laughs> <Your expectations. laughs> he died. Oh, Fucking them down. That's so funny. <laughs> Wonder if I can get the other the two. Must be found. Incoming. Gotta let my force charge up a little bit. You will be found. I gotta wait until I can actually. Yeah, it's not gonna be strong enough. I'll come back or let them be there without a leader. I bet you it stinks here. Thank you, droid.
damage. Continuing to attack. Ah! Uh. Oh, like half the Raider army is stationed here. Must be something worth defending. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. What is it, buddy? Not that one. I wanted this lifter droid. Where maintenance droids saw to the regulation of the factory systems, lifter droids took the role of manual laborers, heaving construction materials wherever they're needed. You're so sad, droid. They're not supposed to. You okay? They're not allowed to enter. Would actually hit something. Yes! <laughs> uh, I'm sure uh, Z can decrypt this for us. I must miss this. BD, cross me stem. One of those droids! Damn, it got away! this moon apart. What you got, bud? Got something, buddy? So what'd you find? Destroyed wall. The calamity that struck Kobo also ripped its moon apart. Racked by quakes and subsidence, 
Sections of the facility were torn from their foundation and strewn about the interstellar flotsam. Help, please. I was on track for that. Do that again. Lifter, lift me. Lift me. sense to me. Went too quick. <laughs> it looks such a fool. Okay, let's try it again. Take me up as much as you can. And then we jump over here and we can slowly. Okay, I need to pause before those three strips. Uh, I'm out of stems too. We did it. Here's a meditation point. That's good. Definitely needed this. Uh, I also have an available skill point. These all need two. this one. Okay. Let's have a look around here. 
Looks like we're going to be going up this direction. Looks like this can be pushed. So hoping I can shoot this. Okay, that shortcut is unlocked. centuries until the raiders came damn uh ashley m hey eric i've loved watching the streams and i'm so excited to see you play the game i have one question win ruby ashley sooner than you think win ruby that's all i'll say I'm so mad. According to the manifest. Broken droid. Someone, seemingly armed with an energy weapon, strikes down a maintenance droid in rage, having not found what they were looking for. You can walk on this. Okay, I was like, uh, uh, is this glass? Okay, it is. Sealed. Doors locked. Workbench there. What's this? Godova will want to see this. Ah, oh, mysterious. Something interesting. What? Who are you? Why do you have a lightsaber? A real Jedi. Ooh, good shot. Let's 
use this. Mustard. Cross guard. That's a gnarly lightsaber. Maybe we can salvage it. <laughs> cool. That's why there's a work table in this giant room. Look at this thing. Try it out. Okay, I love the two-handed stance already. Cal can now use the cross guard stance in combat. The cross guard stance is capable of slower and more powerful attacks, and has increased stamina for defense. I'm feeling weak, BD. Hey, BD one. Okay, I don't hate it. Cool. Get short hop, get long hop. This is cool. I like this. Uh, I'm gonna try it for a bit. Yeah. Uh, looks like there's a meditation sphere here now. Let's rest. Let's have a look at her stances. Other stances are currently unavailable. Okay. Let's move, BD. Is this door still? Yeah, locked from the Just outside. won't open. Get this echo. I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this mission, and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the Abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. Hmm. And guide me back. All right. I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Dagon. Dagon Dagen and Centauri's dream of Tantalor requires an almost impossible task to navigate the lethal Kobo Abyss unaided in order to record the safe passage for others. Dagon volunteers to be that pilot. Okay, so that is the guiding back. Uh, Emil says, you missed a data bank called The Emergence. Did I? Okay. Um, I mean, it definitely could have happened. Let's see. The Emergence is here. Emergences. Oh, okay. This is High Republic stuff. Emergences were the result of the catastrophic event in High Republic history, the consequence of which was chunks of debris emerging from hyperspace and colliding with nearby planets or objects at incredible speeds. One such emergence occurred over Kobo, devastating its moon and raining meteors down on the planet. Okay. So Kobo's moon's destruction is the result of an emergence. BD1. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Yeah, from Live the Jedi. Damn Nihil. All you, BD. Uh-oh. Jedi scum! Half this! Why'd you have to come along? <laughs> That's a good kill. 
Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you for that super chat. Get the enemy, like the way it paces the duels. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, man. I don't know. I mean, I like them all. <laughs> I feel like single-bladed definitely has the most options right now, so I definitely want to keep that available to me. Um, I might just jump back into double-blade for a little bit, though. But I do like the stance. I, I, I do like the pacing of the duel. It's kind of cool. But I don't mind it with the, the single plated stance either. And I'm really missing the double for uh, that this crowd control option. So I'm going to do this for now. Back goes back to the ship. Right, this was all a big giant accident. Master Cordova said Dagon had a retreat on Koba. Let's find it. Yep. Whatever he used to cross the abyss, we'll find it there. You spot that crater as we were coming in? Well, crater is putting it lightly. I can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. What a waste. Uh, remember the one location you missed? Uh, yeah, you're right. There was a location I missed. Um, it would have been down here. Let's see if we can get it real quick. Because it probably has a collectible I really want. But this is taking forever. Hurry up, elevator. I can fast travel. But I already waited for the elevator. If I remember correctly, it's just going to be down here and to the right, correct? Or am I mistaken about that? Like up here, right? Let's show this to Z. Get this data disk back to Z. Ooh, another one. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Okay, 
Um, it was... What was it? Was it around here? Oh, those guys are back there. Maybe I got turned around. Is it this direction or is there somewhere else? I think I need to climb those grates. I think you're right. I think it was before this. Yeah, it's. I, I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Did the same damn thing? Ah. Oh. All right, it was out here. Right? I'm not crazy, am I? Uh, I couldn't pull off magic twice. Maybe I can find the actual intended route of this. MVD. Maybe I just need to tank it. I feel like I'll definitely fall if I try to tank it. But I'm also thinking, well, maybe I jump back on as soon as it hits me? No, you just tank it. Uh... I think it's coming up. I think it is. What happened? A little help, buddy. The animation of jumping off this thing is funny. Here, this is where we wanted to go. Is there anything here? It certainly seems cool. But I currently don't see anything. And there's a... Appreciate that. Okay. It's not safe here. They will hurt you like they hurt me. Hmm. Ooh, I think that's a stem. Ah, I didn't see it. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. Um, that puts us back out there. Okay. Okay. I think there's a stem up there. Don't want to miss this. All right, so I need to jump off this. Ugh. Damn. 
How do I get up there? I want to get up there. I got to go across. Definitely. Oh, that worked. That definitely worked. Yes. Some help, please. Awesome. So glad I didn't miss this. Catch. That puts us up to seven, I think. Okay, um, so now I just need to get to a meditation point, and then I can get back to the ship. Sky. The emergence. The emergence. Scanning. Sector 6 Alpha. Seven anomalies. Scanning. Sector 6 Beta. One anomaly. The sky is broken. The masters are gone. There is only the Force. Trusts only in the Force. All right. Let's uh, rest. Fast travel. Actually, this is the first time I've looked at the map. <laughs> I haven't looked at the map the whole time I've been here. Um, so there's definitely red doors. Only one level. There's a... There's a door behind here that I can open now. Yeah, I haven't gone this way. What? Well, oh, this is just for getting around the door, huh? I just never went this direction. <laughs> ah, here we go. Collector's an item. I almost missed this. Now we're good. For now. Alright, elevator ride. We're heading back to Kobo. That's what we're doing next. I'm excited. I also feel like this was a fun map, fun place to be. Um, and I have two spots that I can enter in later. Would have liked to see you scrapping ships on Braca in your younger days. This place is a hell of a sight, and I've got no doubt it's crawling with nasties. Feels good to be back in the cockpit. You missed the mantis, huh? 
Sure, I was worried about the kind of abuse you were putting it through. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I trust you both, but I knew you'd be taking her to some dangerous places. At least back when we were all together, I knew it was my fault if I flew us into an asteroid field. Well, I'm happy to let you go ahead and make all the mistakes you like. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Remind me who crashed the Mantis into Dredger Gorge? <laughs> Uh, let's see. We got a uh, message on Twitch. Al Britton 007. Eric, how do you keep up with your beard? Any products you recommend? Um, not really. Uh, m my beard's a little crazy right now. It's kind of the longest I've, I've, or the fullest I've had it. Um, just keep, you gotta keep it moisturized, and you gotta get in there and, and clean your chin. You gotta get in there with your shampoo, with your conditioner. Um, just gotta keep it clean. Other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty low maintenance. Um, but, yeah, just having, like, any type of moisturizer. Sometimes I use, like, a tea tree moisturizer. It's minty, and it keeps it fresh. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's just, I don't need to do anything. I, I, it's just so easy for me to go ahead and hit rest here. Just to create a save point. Does this stuff here, it doesn't look like there's anything new. I'm not gonna worry about it. Where should we go, buddy? All right, so this is Jetta. That's the moon and we're heading to Kobo. Kobo, good. I've been meaning to check up on Moon. You give that old tech Cal found in the lab a look? Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe we'll put some pieces together after we check out Dagon's retreat on Kobo. People go to Kobo after things fall apart, not to put things back together. You seem pretty put together, Grease. But don't you have a silver tongue? Maybe I'll let you take the manis for a swing sometime. Really? <laughs> on second thought, no. <laughs> really? Are we, uh... Are we, are we going? Sit down, kid, okay. it's time to land. Gotta let that load. Back on Kobo. Let's, um, let's change our outfit. Uh, we're in a new place. It's a new day. Cal probably got some sleep. He probably, uh, switched, um... It's kind of cool, the scrapper, old scrapper look. Going a little classic here with Cal, back on Kobo. Talk to Grease. Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place and then I heard creepy voices and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. <laughs> Don't you got stuff to do? Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's have a look at our map 
and it's wanting us to head this direction, okay? In the east side of the valley. So we'll go past this stuff and see if we can head in this direction, I suppose, or maybe even this direction to get in there. Okay. I know that I can explore the town a little bit more right now, but I want to get crack into more story. I missed a lot um, when I was... I didn't miss anything, but I didn't get to do as much on Monday because I had to cancel streams, so... There's a boat. Is this, this is the, our fisherman friend, right? Yeah. There he is. I got to Forget him. the sword beating lad. I'm always on edge when fishing for the finger lit garpon. What a name. And fierce as they come. But that does not deter the poachers. The poor garpon, despite its rarity, <laughs> is a delicacy for the black of heart and a rumbly of belly. In we go. Godspeed. Oh, you can collect fish. Find Scuba Steve to collect new fish and display them in a saloon. Okay, so he's actually getting that for our aquarium. That's awesome. The Finger Lip Garpon earned its name for its long, digit like lower lip that protrudes dramatically ahead of it. The fish traverses bodies of water by gliding as close to the bottom. Mm, excuse me. To the bottom as possible. It is unknown how the fish has survived so long, as it seems entirely at the mercy of both predators and avid culinarians. Oh, he's back on the ship. Ah, oh, did you see that beauty? Two plump fins. A fine compliment to glands. <laughs> A scrumptious, varicose tongue. Fishing on an empty stomach, Scuva? Hey, I can't succumb to the passions of the stomach. The garpon must live. I'd better get me mind off it. Now spin your tail. Yes, a tail, yes. Where are we? Ah, yes. By virtue of my prodigious fishing talents, I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undone. Undone. I can see it still. We, Scuva. Utter the de Jong black mouthed cave. I could barely make out the figure glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes like a, a old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was. A vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber, like cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air. I love just the over her head, And then wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with the deck. But something else happened. I think when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out to my brain and put something else in. Okay. <laughs> she put something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company, that focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunge my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. Three times out of seven. <laughs> That's less than half. My village told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps I'd, and perhaps not. But that'd be a story for another time. Oh, uh, he's so good. Losing frames here. Uh, I'm gonna head over here, see if I can catch this damn droid. So, my strategy this time is a saber throw. Should be right here. Wait, wait, 
It's not here! Hitting the wrong button. Um, uh, it's more this way. Get him. I guess I did. Maybe that's the place we're going. Harvest Ridge. This is where we found the DJ. More to the right. Yeah, through here, okay. I can get back up here. I need to get that thing. I recognize you. Yes. Yes. Hey, not bad. Oh. You get a shard. Okay. Nice job, BD. Okay. Scavenger droid. These anxious, greedy droids are a familiar sight wherever there is abandoned material up for grabs. Thought to have been originally created to bring valuable scrap to their owners, these droids now roam independently, hoarding whatever valuables they can find with their grubby mechanical hands. You're friends with Grease, right? Yeah. If he asks about the 50 credits, I may or may not owe him. Tell him I left the planet. <laughs> I think I'll stay out of this. Okay. <laughs> if you won't lie for strangers, who will you lie for? Huh. Um, not strangers? Way different than normal crew. Alright, what is this? Hmm. Viper probe droid. Okay. 
Uh, normal probe droids are called Viper probe droids sometimes. So the Imperial Viper droid is a variation of the standard Imperial probe droid. So this is kind of like the one that is in Solo um, when they're coming up on the uh, the train then, right? Or Valis. Uh, though still developed on, deployed on reconnaissance and intelligence missions, and equipped with the relevant suit, uh, suite of data gathering apparatus, a Viper droid is also programmed to aggressively defend itself when attacked. Firing rate has been improved and outer casing reinforced. Notably, the droid is also equipped with concussion grenade launchers, ensuring that it, uh, it presents a deadly challenge to any attempting to stop it. Kobo is so big. why I'm losing frames. I'm definitely losing frames here. Those are the chickens. Give it a try. Not bad, huh? I feel great. There you are, good as new. Sick. Almost. Lone Wars weren't yesterday. Did we win? Nope. Oh no. Battle Droid Blue. Zig Soza is not somebody who can say no to a little mechanical tinkering. As such, she found herself repairing things she most likely should not, such as an old Separatist battle droid. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 what's this? Uh, the world is broken. Okay, I think we fixed it. We do not live in a simulation. Should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement. That's the way through. Let's do it. Take me. Fisher, where there's a deep, deep hole. Mm. Uh, Brett Bulmer, super chat. I want a game in this style, set during the High Republic. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I, I'll take any game I can get. But yeah, that sounds fun. Definitely would be open to a whole lot of new types of. Uh... Hey, is that our friend from the forest array? Oh yeah, it is. Ah, oh, cool, okay. Alright, don't 
Don't attack me. Yeah. Let's keep our distance this time. I need to focus. All right. We're going to focus at this meditation point, and I am going to take a small break. I'm going to go use the bathroom, and I'll be right back. It is 8th. 21 right now um, not only did I miss Monday stream but I started this stream late because of technical difficulties so we're probably gonna go a little longer than we normally do I will be right back Guys, ready to keep going? Cause I am. I think that might be a different path. I really should consult my map. So this one just goes back up to the valley. And there's a rumor right here too. Investigate the Raider Watchtower. We need to do that when we come back. lava over here cool if we come back oh huh this place is in ruins over here over here we'll go up ah! Ah! what is this axiom brood Axiom Brood! Done. 
Okay. <laughs> With that Why hat. Cage Vanda. Cage Vanda. This mud scuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Okay. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch. Love a big entrance. Huh. Thanks. More impressed than I thought she was. So what do you want? <sighs> what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Okay. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters, and I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian and Brute. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Hmm. Cool. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon, and I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. Who bounty hunts right. the bounty hunters. I'll think it over. And she's definitely got a lot of swag. <laughs> Everybody's got rockets except me. Yeah, I guess so. All right, cage bounties unlocked. Cool. Hunt down all standard targets to prove yourself worthy to take on the best of the best. I wonder how long this has been here. Bounty puck. Come on, buddy. Ooh, okay. We still gotta find Dagon's retreat. Yeah, let's see. Haxian brood grenader. Haxian brood grenaders, like other, uh, like others in uh, Sork Tormo's employ. Okay, he's the uh, he's the big hologram dude from the first game, right? All right, versatility of a jetpack. Vast armory in favor of high power blaster rifle. Capable of softening their target up with strafing bombing runs before delivering the killing blow with a jet powered physical strike. Yeah, that's right. The Umbaran from the first game. This is a cool place. Okay. Um. Alright, I was looking. Okay, I know where I am now. Okay. So let's get up here. Let's talk to Cage more. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? For free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? <laughs> I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. Retired. But suit yourself. Yeah. I wouldn't tell you either. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if that's... I think it was my first or second stream that uh, there was a room that I came to with a guy mocking me behind a door. I wonder if that was a bounty, maybe. Might have been. Okay, this is a place for an energy ball. Feel the planet and everything connected. Then reach out. I think I... I there! I felt it! Just so. Very good, Parawan. Freaking Matt Mercer getting to play all these Jedi. The Jedi saw opportunities in all things, even a harsh world like Kobo. To truly understand the ever-expanding Republic, the Jedi needed to absorb all they could and teach their Padawans the same. Oh, I thought this was a door. Um. Where does one go next? Right up there. there. Oh, 
don't think I can climb those. Oh, right here. I can climb these. Oh. Wait, does the spike hurt him? It should. We did it. Right here, BD. Yeah! Take that! I have the high ground! Super chat during the opening on Coruscant, you can see Cage's one poster on a big billboard next to Cal's one poster. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Good old Cage. Take me! This has got to be the place Cordova was talking about. Okay. Breathe. Rest. Got our stems back. We could head that way, but there's also this L2 here. Which we go this way. Ship was that? A coupler. Power source should be nearby. Okay, so we gotta put. Okay, all right, got it. Uh, where's the power source? Centauri Cree? Huh? Did this effigy just speak to me? Scan. Or it did. Scan. Okay, there we go. BX Droid Hybrid? Oh, okay. It was this. The hybrid model BX Commander Droid combines the melee prowess and the standard BX model with range advantage of a blaster. Spry and accurate. The hybrid will attempt to soften its target up with blaster fire before closing in on the kill. I didn't even notice it had a blaster. Okay. Oh, 
What am I, what am I doing with this? Okay, okay. Here you will learn to harness Kobo matter in order to prepare yourself to traverse the abyss. But in success, will you also find an ever greater connection to the Force? Okay. Cool. I'm down with that. A patient master. Padawan asks to be excused from training. They do not explain themselves, but the master displays restraint and allows them to go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that mix of the Force theme was pretty freaking good. Let your connection with the Force guide you towards our shared goal. Tananor. Centauri Kree was training Jedi for the journey through the abyss. I want to get that. I don't know how to get that yet. There's also that thing. Up there, whatever it is. I can do with it, right? So I gotta be able to destroy more of that stuff, but I'm not really sure how. Not in here, at least. that updraft across ride the updraft
Oh, that's too far. I was I was a little curious to just go down here first and not do the updraft yet. Thanks for the look. Could be useful in the garden, right? It feels like BD1 wants to scan this guy, but I can't. Alright, that's activated. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. All right, BD, I'm sorry. I can't do anything, bud. Maybe this? Let's catch that updraft. Okay, that's what he was trying to scan. Need another one of these. out to there are new opportunities to share and learn and this planet has much to teach us what did you learn centauri secrets this place is hiding. Should I not be able to break that up? Maybe just not yet. Maybe I gotta go around. I don't know. 
Cobalt. Cobalt matter. It's overgrown. Mm -hmm. can now spray Kobo matter on surfaces. BD1 Kobo grinder unlocked. Spray a path of Kobo matter onto Kobo turner beams to burn away obstacles blocking Cal's path. Okay. We believe Kobo matter originates from deep within the abyss. This strange substance is enigmatic but not beyond our ability to study and manipulate. Like all things, once understood, it can be channeled and thus controlled. We're studying cobalt matter in the abyss. Is that how Dagon made it to Tanner? That's what I wanted to do. Awesome. I really, really love this. This makes a lot of sense now. Master Cree talking of their dreams for the Abyss. It is unbecoming to gossip and to eavesdrop. Yes, Master. My apologies. Idle talk. Padawan brings some news they overheard to their master, who dismisses it and chides them for engaging in idle gossip. got the force essence we cannot go through this door so we can head that way though um like the order I remember. Everything Kree built here was destroyed by a catastrophe she couldn't foresee. Sometimes it feels like history just repeats itself. Let's 
get this data disk back to Z. Okay, gotcha, we're back here. Um, we need to bring that bulb out here. That's what we need to do. Should be able to ride the updraft to the far side now. We should. But <laughs> before we do that. Oh, PD1. Wait, where you at, bud? Can we scan something? Those who ask questions find answers. Chamber mural. Chamber mural. The mural across the exterior wall of a meditation chamber. Reading. Those who ask questions find answers. Those who combat falsehoods find the truth. And those who see inside themselves will know the path ahead. I'm not doing that yet. I want to go back over here. Whoa, we're high. Whoa, nelly. Into here. Oh, uh, don't hurt yourself. I just want to get back and get that one piece of stuff. Just let me get the stuff. Still died. Still died. I know what to do. Give me this. Put that back there. Does um does doing it just like from here work? Think so. Doesn't seem like it does. Okay. Um. So we need to go through here. Oh, that's right. We gotta bring it from here. This to Z. Data disk. Woo. <laughs> Bring 
this up here. Land it here. Okay, I'll get this. We're gonna go across here and here so that we can get over here. That's one. Ah, uh, I dodged. Someone else tried. Help me. Come and prove. No power. to worry for this project it is not our place to question well even the padawan sends something amiss uh tough though bound <laughs> to kobo by purpose the jedi nevertheless begin to harbor misgivings about the way in which their mission is proceeding wow i can definitely feel i'm tired i just looked at that and went tough Was that? I couldn't hear you. You died too quickly. Welcome, Jedi. Enemies of peace threaten the galactic frontier and our Republic. Once we cross the abyss, Tananor could be a bastion to repel that threat. A beacon for hope and justice across the Outer Rim. Tanalor was more than a mission to Earth. It was a dream of a better future. I bet Z can get the data off this disk.
doesn't go on the glass. It doesn't go there. Ah, okay. I get in there too. I don't want no hint. New perk acquired. Precision. Ooh. What took you so long? I came as fast as I could. My master is insistent. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Not back here. Uh, a world away, the rigors of daily training exact a toll on Padawan, who seek for themselves islands of peace and leisure, away from their master's watchful eyes. Exact a toll on Padawan. Is that a... I think it's a little bit of a typo, huh? Mm. Was I doing something in here? Got that. Padawan is plural. I guess that makes sense. get out of my head that I'm missing something over here.
All right, let's take this guy over. For the assist. Let's search inside. What is it back and expects me to find? Huh? This is a gorgeous temple. Who is speaking? Let's stop for a moment. Uh, Craig Shipway, thank you for the super chat on YouTube. What skill do we want? Um, actually, you know what? Let's go to force. And I wanted to look at maybe telekinesis. I keep forgetting to do this, by the way. Press R2 right before an enemy attacks to send them flying. Cool. Nice, okay. Let's keep moving, buddy. Okay. Exterior is cool. Looking for secrets. Don't mind me. Okay, the central manz, manzi. The settlement structure served as a central point for the Jedi on Kobo. Its spires deliberately calling back to a distinctive tower of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Has a very small door. Who oh, okay. are these guys? them out for something okay bedlam raider lieutenant double blade ravis saw fit to reward the finest and most loyal of bedlam raider warriors with their very own lightsabers totems the gendai had taken from jedi query in the 
ages past. This lieutenant, armed with a double-bladed lightsaber, also employs a wrist-mounted grappling hook to both traverse the battlefield and attack opponents. Cool. And we're following the same trail. Uh, Ruskin Tater with the Super Chat. Have you checked out the crossguard customization at the bench yet? It's easily my favorite part. Before, I never really cared for the lightsaber crossguard. This game changed me. Crossguard style for life. Uh, yeah, I haven't checked it out yet, but I definitely will. I had so much fun choreographing for the crossguard when we did Kylo Ren the Awakening. Um, we did a lot of stuff with that crossguard that the movies didn't really do. Uh, Joel. Uh, Catchapoli with the Super Chat. Besides growing up on the Clone Wars cartoon, I've been a pretty casual Star Wars fan. But I just finished Force Unleashed, Unleashed after hearing you guys talk about it. So good. Yeah, I love that game. That's fun. Especially that first level. Uh, I definitely... BD-1, over here. Yeah, I did scan this guy, right? I guess there's no scanning to be done. I've already got his, his uh, data bank entry. Maybe I already did it. I don't know. This thing's got your name all over it. Perfect, buddy. Okay. I really like the ambiance of this place. No getting through. Devastated remains. Although some structures were spared total annihilation, nothing survived intact. Strewn debris and overgrown nature. Speak to a world first devastated and then abandoned. <clears throat> cool. Oh. Oh. oh, the music. Oh. Another one of these devices. Ah, this one's broken too. He is coming. Destroy it now. Centauri's devices. Imagine to kill Jedi for destroying it. Two Jedi destroy a device as Dagon Garrod arrives, too late to stop them. In a fit of rage and revenge, Dagon kills both Jedi in cold blood. I think this could be our answer. Let's bring this back to Master Cordova. Yeah, definitely. Um, why is there a shining force thing here? Can I do anything with it? Am I crazy? Am I dumb? Is this just latent force power? Just a remnant of the echo? Okay. We're locked out. I think Master T'Pol had this one. Oh, Theses of Yaddle. A tome by Jedi Master Yaddle, detailing little-known Jedi arts. Unfortunately, her notes on both are incomplete and perhaps deliberately vague. All right, cool. Got a Yaddle mention from this High Republic temple. That's awesome. Could have added that to the sacred Jedi text. We should take this back to Jeddah. Master Cordova will want to see what we found. What is it? Training courtyard. Built around a large central courtyard, clearly intended for Jedi training. Ample room was provided for sparring, meditation, or a simple yet productive discussion between peers. 
Uh, Craig Shipway with a super chat. Hey, Eric, I'm the guy that gave you $300 back when you, oh my gosh, when you and Aaron played Fallen Order. Yeah, that was nuts. Thank you, Craig. My 2024 has not been the best start in recent years, mainly because my grandfather having pains. All right, Craig, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, being someone that has now lost all of his grandparents, I mean, I definitely uh, understand those feelings in many different stages, so I, I get you. Did I miss something? I can go up there. Yeah, okay, I didn't turn here. Cataclysm. When struck by calamity, the evacuation of Kobo began swiftly. Some, however, thought first to defend their work. Despite their efforts, such attempts were ultimately futile. Force, sweet. Marksmanship, new perk acquired. I gotta check out my perks, I haven't done that. No, I was gonna land in the water! I see fish! Am I dumb? Do I just go down? No, the fisherman is here. Yes. Stev. Show this to Z. I didn't even see you over here, and I still got gotcha. you. I'm getting better. Watch where you look, Larry. The frightful reefish is known to stun his quarry with a blinding flash of light. I guess you have a plan, though, right? <laughs> Cal, you, you kindly lover. Uh, sometimes I forget you only half cooked around the gills. The reefish has attracted less kindly fishers, however. What? I know a noble who deigned to keep one as a pet. Go, buddy. Yes, blinding Stop. rayfish. Got her safely away. Oh, but uh, the noble was nice so lucky. She paraded the rayfish at a gala, and the guest of honor, a senator, mm -hmm. uh, lost her eyesight parent in the tank. Blinded by greed, huh? Huh? Oh, 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 hi! <laughs> Good one. Hi, indeed. Yeah, all right, that's enough. The tale continues. Yes. When we last spoke, yes. I warned of the grapnel's arrival. Mm -hmm. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp, like a... Like a... Well, like a fish. <laughs> like a nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted... Aye, aye, the loading ramp. Now, nah, nah, will you hush and let's go tell the story? <sighs> her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk yet never did see. And led by the vilest of them all, Captain Wan Yek Wet, the bearded bezelous bat that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. 
We had a great famine to get in with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious <laughs> captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. <laughs> Wait, cried wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, uh, I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you may have long. I'll be requiring another for me crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal, if I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, if only I'd never stepped off my wee rock. But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure, and I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Whit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit... More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll... I'll tell you more. Ah. Captain Wet. When a foreign fishing crew arrived to plunder Sakavi Tar's seas, Scuva struck a deal. He would lend him his talents on one condition if they never fish on his homeworld. He joined the crew and set off on the grapnel, a starship captain, to buy a vile basilic called. Wan Yek Wet. Captain Wet. <laughs> so a basilisk is uh Basilisk is the same species as Dexter from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Who had a mustache in that. Captain Wet has a beard. And I wonder what that's like when you have that big gullet that Dexter has that he can like expand. Does that mean your beard expands? That would be nuts. Captain Wet. Alright, I've been looking at this for so long. Am I... Yeah, it's this one. There we go. Cal! What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Alright. Hard leather at the bottom of this pond. Okay. I think we want to make it over there. This guy, I'm not sure where he wants me to go. Back that direction. I want to head over there. Maybe I can jump it? And get that marker? Yep. No! I thought I could! Not. There's greenies here, though. Um, I suppose I could probably just take this guy over there by having him do a turn. And then, can I reach this? Yes. Hard to see here. I 
really need a stem. Hey! What am I doing wrong? I'm I you just you press forward to go slow, right? Until you hit here. Oh, oh, okay. And now Ah Ah, okay, it's gotta be quicker. I gotta be quicker. Yes. Ugh. Full goatee and mustache. Cool. Let's look at it. Because we can. Hair. Zoom. Oh, no, not hair. Beard. Yes. Full goatee and mustache. Uh, it's not too bad. Cal doesn't really need the the length that a goatee kind of gives your face. I think he just looks better with the beard, so we'll keep with that, but cool. All right. Um, okay. I just probably go back the way we came, I suppose. A bird friend too. Okay. Time to ride, buddy. Huh? Who needs help? turns. Although Muzi is known as a hunter, she is not without a respect and understanding for the equilibrium of the planet and the natural order of things. Um, so, obviously, as you can see, I can't tell direction when it comes to anything hearing related. I have no idea where they are. Maybe they're inside the cave. I don't think they're up there. I don't suppose you can deal with this uh, creature. We seem to be trapped. This is just perfect, Bima. I told you we should have hired a guide. The odd pair. 
Moran said he'd seen an unconventional duo investigating bones on the far side of Rambler's Reach Valley. Would you be so kind as to dispatch this beast? We will make it worth your while. Yeah, you can't just say up there. I don't... <laughs> I don't see anybody... I mean, I assume they're talking about... I don't know. Well, I can't yet get up there. Maybe I gotta go through this cave. Oh no, I could get up from here. Thanks, friend. That's right. I can use those things yet or not. Okay. Show. Come here, my warrior friend. I haven't seen such fighting since the championship. So, I don't feel bad at all for not being able to see them. I'm a pattern-recognizing person, and I could not recognize these silhouettes as two beings. Not at all. Okay, let's see who they are. We are in your debt. What are you doing out here? We were out looking for the biggest, strongest beasts to fight each other. Winner take all. Within our Hollow Tactics game table, of course. Uh, okay. Hollow Tactics, huh? That's right. And you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game. Just as soon as we find a place to set up shop. Oh, uh, I want to play. My friend might be interested. Yeah. That's Pylon Saloon. Ah, uh, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. That dump. I didn't realize it was open. Well, tell you what. We're more than happy to bring hollow tactics to Pyloons. Cool. Good liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moon. All things in their own time, Bima. Bima and Tully. Tully runs her own hollow tactics game with the help of her diminutive employee, Bima, who possesses an outsized personality and a gift for gab. See you around. Cool. No more dialogue options? Okay. All right. Um, can I? I'm going to try to jump on this thing. Nope, that's not how it's used. I'm assuming it's a grapple, but maybe I, my ascension gun isn't equipped to use it yet. I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Should look at the map. Uh, 
Um, yeah, they're still red, so let's go back through here. Go ahead and give ourselves a rest. And we're also going to look at our perks, because we can have up to three. Three slots in use. Okay. But I only have two equipped. Block meter is increased. Lightsaber throw deals more damage. Marksmanship. When in blaster stance, Cal's blaster shots do more damage. And precision. Parry timing is shorter. But Cal deals more stamina damage to enemies when he parries. Oh, that sounds cool. That takes up two slots. Okay. Let's try it. I mean, I know that the parry is now shorter, but that could be cool. Uh, TK421 on uh, YouTube, Dova 8.0 says, What are your thoughts on our glorious emperor, Palpatine? Long live the empire. Uh, what are my thoughts on Palpatine? We actually did a lot of videos on, on Badonkagonk about Palpatine lately. You can check those out. Got a lot of, a lot of thoughts about Palpatine. But uh, I'll give you one that I feel like is pretty unique. See, about Palpatine. I don't think I give enough credit to Ian McDermott's performance when he is Palpatine. Uh, Sheev Palpatine, the senator. Especially like episode one, um, you know, episode two, and and I mean honestly, episode three as well. But just like the subtleness he puts into the performance, which itself is a performance for the other characters, I don't appreciate that as much. And the last couple of times I've watched the prequels, I've really tried to pay attention to what he's doing, and I quite like it. So good job, Ian McDermott. Okay. Uh... Let's get this guy with the red boots. Let's ride. <clears throat> Off we go. No, I want the echo. Yes. Don't kill me. Kill you? I just saved your fool life. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is Raider territory. Turgle saved. Uh, Doma's first encounter with Turgle was one of rescue, saving him from a self-inflicted blunder. He was attached to her from that point on. I feel like Turgle is doing what uh, Jar Jar did. But people aren't annoyed because they're not edge lords that need Star Wars to be always be serious. <laughs> okay, another one of these big fights. Oh man, if I can touch you. Damn it. double check and make sure I did my perks correctly. Yeah, I have three slotted. Okay. Alright. My... Back to it. I dodge. I dodge too quick, I guess. Feeling 
Another bounty puck. Okay, that was a bounty. Show this to Cage. Uh... Okay, I didn't get one yet. There it is. Hexian Brood Gunslinger. Sees relentless aggression as much as canny subterfuge. As crucial to victory. None, <laughs> a lot of these words, these, none typify this more than the brood gunslinger. Unencumbered by heavy armor or jetpacks, they launch into action, unleashing a fury of high powered blaster bolts and stun grenades designed to bring down even the toughest of marks with the steady grind of attrition. I mean, it's gonna be tough when I start having to fight these guys like multiple at the same time. Okay, I got that puck. Cool. And now we're in the Untamed Downs, which is a new area. Ready, BD? fights. Huh. Okay. Definitely want to go over and check out this. But this seems scary. Quit your belly aching, Leo. Let me see it. Shoot. That ain't gonna heal. Sorry, hun. Not your day. Way of the world, Leo. Yep. Rather you in the ground peaceful than someone's dinner. Yep. Small mercy. Mosey and her faithful Neko, Leo, get into a scrape from which one of them cannot recover. Mosey does what needs to be done with a solemn understanding and as much compassion as she can muster. Well, this is ominous. I'm gonna guess this is the raider area. Which, I mean, we can get into. Uh, there's a uh, rumor here. Which rumor is it? Uh, explore the High Republic chamber in the valley. Toa has once more heard of another High Republic meditation chamber in the valley, but she fears it will require some acrobatic skills to reach it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say we probably tried to do this and see where we are at the end of that, and maybe that might be the, uh, the end of stream. We'll see. Uh, where exactly did it go? Back this way. Uh, 
Oh no, we can't get in there, I don't think. I could probably get up there though. No scanning, okay, PD? Ah, come on. Yeah. I must screw that one up, damn. Okay. We'll mention this meditation chamber. Yeah. Let's go in it. Teaches us that what our eyes see and our hands touch is not always the truth of the world. The world bends to the will of the Force. As such, it may also bend to you. little more. Oh, you must be strong for the task ahead. Concerted effort. The trials of Kobo were testing enough, but whatever mission the Jedi were preparing for was almost certainly greater. No Jedi, therefore, would be allowed to fall behind. Careful. I haven't trained like this since I was a Padawan. Trials. The task within the Jedi Chambers presented trying, painful challenges, the likes of which many Jedi hadn't experienced since their struggles as learners. Uh, excuse me.
I'm exhausted. Keep going. It'll be over soon. We can hope. A candid moment. The Jedi trials on Kobo were tests of body and mind, but also of trust and camaraderie. Camar I know how to say this word, but I can't right now. It's too late. <laughs> Both friends and comrades. I know I need to make it up. Oh. Hey. Well, I don't think I can make it. Can I? Maybe. Let's just try. Nope. Um. So I see we can do this. I don't see anything else to interact with. Can I go through here? No. I need, I need that to come back, do I? Probably should have stood up there and did that. I think I need to bring that back over here so that I can get on top of it to get over there, but how do I do that? behind it. It's not the same one. That's where I was messing up. I was confused. Get up! Get up, cow! Ugh. 
Yeah, I didn't realize it was two separate ones. I thought it was one. time I played one of these. Ooh, new perk. Which one's, what does this do? I probably gotta wait to figure out. Um, there was a chest in the last one of these I did, but I didn't see a chest. Did you guys see a chest? I think it's down there. I mean, it doesn't look super far. But you die. You do die. You do die there. as many times as it takes tenacity to fail at the trials presented on Kobo was not an option for the Jedi who were determined to persist until at last they found success non-metal. Okay. Unique non-metal. All right, that was fun. And that's another rumor. Yay. Okay. Um let's head over here. This is again the untamed downs. There's under here. 
those? I mean, that's where we just were. Right? But right to the left there... Is that the entrance that I just entered? I don't think so, because it's... It says it's yellow now, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I... I'll come out and say if I uh, want spoilers or something. I generally am pretty apparent whenever I want to know something. Sometimes I'm just thinking to myself. I'm gonna go down here. So even if I double jump down there, I'll still die, huh? Okay. Ooh, you can. You can do that. Okay, cool. Um, was it this up here? Is that what the map is showing me? Yep. What's up here? Well, there's a meditation sphere here. Okay. Untamed downs. Meditation point discovered. Um, well, let me look at the map. Ready to go. So that gave me a meditation point, but I don't know if I can continue this direction. I can come down here. There's a scanning thing over here. Wow. An ecological study. A data pad from a curious Kobo Loco. <laughs> Kobo Loco, studying the interior of this cave. I cannot progress further without specialized equipment. I should, I should turn back, but the sounds from within draw me further. What manner of cave is home to such a myriad noises? My curiosity cannot so e be, cannot be so easily satisfied. Okay. This is interesting. You can get this. Great find. <sighs> well, uh, on the map. It's red, so I cannot continue this way. We're gonna keep going just a tiny bit longer. Not much longer, but a tiny bit longer. We're gonna head back this way. Just having a look at what all is around. Okay, there's still there's still so much to explore in Kobo. It's nuts. There's another rumor over here. What rumor is that? Investigate the Raider Watchtower. Prospector is wary of anyone fighting the Raider. Seems like Ravis has a Watchtower in Rambler's Reach. Garrison with Raiders. Taking it out might make things a little safer. Uh, I think we could probably do this one. We just gotta get over there. Um, I mean, there's a meditation point right there that we can probably get to. I mean, these over here might also... Shouldn't. It's a patrol, not an assault. 
Maybe just right here will get me there too. Shoot me. You can shoot. Shoot! Ah, oh, I missed. He does not like to shoot much. There we go, we got him. Fort Kalen. Is that thing full? That could have an entire battalion. <laughs> like a lot. Good job, BD. Past signs of life. The evidence suggests that Fort Kalen was once a hub of activity for a local bandit gang. Although now it is still occupied by Bedlam Raider soldiers and battle droids, these abandoned items speak to a more active base made sparse by some past incident. Imperial over here. Locked from the other side, okay. <laughs> Trying not to get lost. <laughs> You must die. is damage. I don't No more running, coward. Who am I fighting? They must be near. Ah! Ah! Yes. Ah! 
Up here. Fight. Weapon engaged. Whatever is required. I will attack. No. The winner. This looks like it's going to be tough. Real tough. Let's go see how tough. Oh my god, so tough! Uh, uh, no! He's back! Oh my god! The spawn! I can't believe it did it again. Oh no, I died. <laughs> well, maybe that's where the poncho is. They re brought him back. You still fell. Oh my God, that's good. And I'm back here. Okay. Um, uh, I want to try it again. But it's kind of far. I did not save at that meditation spot. I don't know. This this could be a... <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. We'll keep playing. I was going to stop, but now I feel like I have to keep playing. Just got out of attack mode, so I can rest. Good. <laughs> Bandit camp. Before the Bedlam Raiders came to prominence, Kobo's locals were bothered by various bandit groups, though not as unified and organized as Ravis's army. It was nevertheless advisable to stay away from their territory. Enemy approaching. Within my power. Weapons engaged. I will crush your defenses. Initiate belligerent. Accept. Let's do something. I'm a lot closer now, so I can probably try this more, but I need to get into a good attack pattern. I was hoping to try to get more battle droids to go down with me. Oh, 
someone over there. Hey, I hit him! Are we done fighting? Focus on the enemy. Whoa! We got to kill. Can't run from me. You won't get me. I got a hit. <laughs> All right. I died immediately. <laughs> oh man. Okay. like after every hit it feels like this might be a fun uh place to stay until midnight <laughs> all right can't get much closer Couldn't even get a stem off. So he lunges, it looks like, twice. So I need, it's just that the red ones, it can't block. It happens so quickly, and he's so hard to anticipate. Lost some XP, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. If anything, I'm just excited to... I mean, this is a real challenge. Not to say the game has been easier or anything, but this one, this feels like places I got stuck in my first Fallen Order area. Damn, man, there's nowhere to move down here. <laughs> and his red lunge goes so far. I'm anticipating that lunch. Huh. What? Initiating combat. I got ah. you. All right, 
No jumping, I guess. Man, committing to this lightsaber. No, right! I meant right! Help me, BD. You try. Maybe I should try to take the battle droids out first. They're kind of just hampering me versus helping. I would figure they would come down and it would attack them too, but it feels like they're just standing in the back and shooting me in the in the face. <laughs> hey, you! Come here. In pursuit. Oh, you're so dead. Kill him. Try to use slow, maybe. That might work. That was definitely the <laughs> the best one, even though you died quickly. Red, and I gotta like wait three beats, not two beats. I will do this all night if I have to. <laughs> the chat was a super chat uh you were destined to run into ogdo you're wearing your scrapper outfit after all you're right i am <laughs> oh that's funny pretty sure raven built me personally who's over there you're going down they shoot at you so I suppose I should try to take everybody out up top I don't know if that's gonna be the right way to go Two on that. 
Uh, let's see. Olsen Media, you can save this to him. I, I, I appreciate a super chat. I, I'm not really wanting hints or uh, help right now. I enjoy being ignorant and messing up and doing things over and over again, personally, so. But I appreciate it, thank you. Go back. You gotta go to the side and you gotta wait real, real long. <clears throat> Can a lightsaber really cut through our armor? I would love for people that have my skill level, which is not very good, to to play in front of hundreds of people watching because, like, I know, <laughs> red is dodge, attack, not red is block and attack. Like, I know, I get it, but I'm not that good. If I'm going to beat this thing, it's through persistence, not skill. Once I get through this boss battle, I'm going to be the best player ever. <laughs> Encoder! so cool if he attacked them <laughs> when they went down there. <laughs> Lockhead won't last five seconds 
against the Jedi. Get the enemy, blockhead. All right already. I've got you now. <laughs> Best one yet. It was the best one yet. I remember being able to do something with the tongue in the first game, uh, but I think it was for slow. I don't think I've ever seen a Jedi before. Jedi are. Should we shoot him? So maybe I can try when he uses the tongue attack to use running. slow then. Exactly as I planned it. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Help me, BD. I feel like he's way harder than they were in the first game. But I guess that's the point, right? I love that they got me again with falling into his lair. That's great. It was just long enough in the game, too, that I just wasn't thinking about it. Okay, this is, this is this is too much. But maybe this is the run. This is the one. I can feel it. I feel it. I don't. I don't feel it. Maybe I should... Hmm. Yeah, okay. I might... This probably won't matter too much. But I'm going to change out that one perk. Uh, that messes with... Yeah. The parry timing. Maybe we can try to do a little more lightsaber throws, too. Try to stay out of his range.
That's pretty good. Um, did I save again when I did that last time? I don't remember if I did or not. I should check. Perks. Yeah, okay. It did save. Time to move. I'm also thinking, I wonder if I should do blaster stance for range. Could do that too. Tongue. Irish uh, Nexus, you don't have to worry about trying to kill backseating. I'm just not going to look at it. <laughs> My signal receiver is malfunctioning. I'm going to take you out. Okay. No.
thinking, like, I wonder if I could jump over him with the double jump whenever he, like, attacks at me. If I wonder if that's a good way of doing it. Hello. Get like locked, it's just terrible. I don't know, maybe trying to create some chaos down there to see if I can get him to not focus on me immediately, but that's not how it works. They're on the same side, baby. Breeze bring this to the planet too? I know he brought the Boglins, but it feels like he accidentally brought one of these guys too. little hole that we're in. <laughs> Your 
programming. For the Raider! Get the enemy, blockhead! Complying. Can't believe I missed that battle droid. Hope I hit it. You try. Don't let him get away. Over. He's attacking others! What? That was the wrong button, Cal! No! Yes! Yes! No! Actually attacked each other that time. That was nice. Programming calibration. Get over it. I guess I'll go after him. Target Get in there. Now. Maybe I'll hit him. I can't hit him. Is this what we do? I need to hold my ground and I think dodge at the last second. I keep like trying to like go around him and then dodge. 
but it's a video game and it anticipates my movements. Can't use concentration or slow right now. I tried, I've been hitting L3 and R3. It works sometimes. Thanks for the super chat, Ruskin Tater. Uh, did I? I don't think I missed the last one, did I? I might have. Uh, Grease never told you what happened to your father. Spawn, he told me enough. He told me you killed him. Cal, no. I am your father. Ridiculous. Not he was not this this hard in the first game. <laughs> Potential hostile activity in the area. Get those guys to come down. Give me my XP! I was right there!
how many attempts are we? I don't think about it in terms of attempts. That's the wrong way to think about it. Think about it in terms of hope. Each one could be it. Nuts. I feel like I feel like I dodged that perfectly one time. I'm hit. <laughs> that slow moving feel is so frustrating. Trilla like the tutorial level? I don't agree. I feel like Trilla was way harder than this. <laughs> Raiders always talking down to me. The enemy is here. If there's any jumping over that that lunge. I don't know if I got a double jump in there or not, but he has a very wide range of attack. be a tough one. Uh, it's already 11-11. I don't want to go all night. I have to do stuff tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I fully anticipated it would take this long, but I am a little slow right now. It is our... 16 of my work day, I think. I mean, I'm playing a game at the end. It's not like it's a big deal. But I'm a bit tired. Oh, 
No, I, there's no chance I'm changing stances or anything like that. I'm too stubborn. I like doing this type of thing. If I if it wasn't so late, I would go for hours and hours and have a, a very fun amount of time doing it. But I think I'm just maybe a little too tired tonight. Probably gonna be the one <laughs> for me tonight it's kind of a downer to end stream on but I am glad that I'm here I'm just a little too tired guys for this right now uh, but I am having a lot of fun uh, if I had maybe started stream one time maybe I would be in a slightly better headspace too but anyway uh, we're gonna be done for tonight I hope you guys enjoyed the stream I will start next stream with this uh that will be monday i don't think i'm gonna be able to pick up any days uh like i wanted to but anyway that was a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be back monday uh though before that tomorrow we have badonka gonk and you don't want to miss that those are always a lot of fun especially if you want to come and uh give some questions and we can do some answers we try to do that towards the end Though we do often run out of time because we talk about Star Wars for so long. All right, that's it for me. I'm going home and going to bed. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. Yeah. Oh, can't see, can't see. There we go.